Wow, this is really, really interesting. Tinubu's camp, they are not happy at all. Hmm. Come and see blasting. The who is a fairy, fairy, they don't have electoral value. This and this and that. They don't have electoral value. Anybody a fairy, fairy supports, we always lose. And meanwhile, you are having heart attack because they didn't uh, endorse a Tinubu, but you are happy that a professionality endorsed him. You see the hypocrisy that we are talking about. Of course, we know why they are being pained. Honestly, at this stage and time, that this man is old, if he does not right the wrongs, he's not going to lose anything. Thank God nobody is accusing him that he will be pay, he'll be paid him or gave him money. Because he'll be not the gift she, she. If it was the other way around, even if the Baba don't even collect money, but because of the antecedents of Tinubu, they will think that uh, he has given them money but it is what, what does the man want what does he want to eat that we even digest in his body he, he's not going to lose anything so he just wants to right the wrong so all of you who are even abusing him you are just uh, being pained because the same you if he had endorsed uh, tinubu you'll be happy you'll be jubilating and you can imagine what the apc is saying through femi finicality saying that since the Three leading sociocultural groups have endorsed Peter B. They say he's a threat to national security. But this same set of people will still come and tell you that uh, they don't have electoral value. But they are being pained. They are being pained. I think it was a good uh, outing anyway, despite the fact that uh, their aircraft or their plane was granted by the federal government, saying that uh, because of a regulatory process and all these their jargons. Uh, yeah, of course, it's, it's really... An interesting one. See the see the baba. What did he want to lose? He has nothing to lose. Anybody can say anything. Let them continue with what they are saying. But the most important thing is that Baba, don't do what you need to do. For as many who are not uh, happy about it, say it's it's not it's not a the man's fault. But the right thing must be done. The leader of the Afeni Ferry or the leader of the Yoruba Pan social Social political group Afeni Ferry on Wednesday led the group to the presidential rally of the Labour Party in Ibadan or your state. The rally, which is ongoing as at the time of filing this report, witnessed a huge turnout of supporters. Adebanjo, who led his group to the rally, was ushered into the podium. We can see from that video and received by leaders of the party in the video shared on Twitter. Apart from Ade Banjo, the Secretary General of the group, Shola Ebiseni, and other members of the Afeni Ferry were also in attendance. The group had endorsed the presidential candidate of the party, Peter B, after a series of meetings with its counterpart comprising the Middle Bet Forum, the Panaja Data Forum, and the Indigbo as against a dozen Bolatinumbu, the presidential candidate of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC who is from the southwest. However, Tinumbu had led his team to visit Pa Ruben Fashionotti, who stepped down as the leader of the Afeni Ferry in Akure, in Undo State Capital, in October, where he received his blessing, causing controversy as to who the group was supporting. As the controversy raged, Ebiseni restated the commitments of Afeni Ferry to the Presidential aspiration of the South East has been led by Obi while speaking on Arise TV Money Show in early November. He denounced the meeting Tinubu had with Parfashionati, declaring that the meeting that was held was not an Afeni Ferry meeting. The notice of that meeting was issued in the name of a WhatsApp group, Conscience of Yoruba Nation. Those who express political inclination at any time were gathered in the WhatsApp group and my brother, Kola Omololu, said he was the director general. He issued a meeting, he issued a meeting and told people that say, we are going to hold a meeting in respect of Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu's presidency and Papa Shoranti has agreed to preside over the meeting. The duration of that meeting was 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., two hours.
there was one that was debated from July 29, 2021 to September 27, 2022, 14 months of debate compared to two hours of jamboree. Is that an endorsement? Baba has the power to bless anyone, according to Padre Banjo. I will give an example. In 2019, Afeni Ferry endorsed Atiku, Abubakar, several others still came, and Baba prayed for them. Fashionati, in his Andover speech, said one of the tasks confronting us is to stop a section of the country from dominating Nigeria. Look at the domination from Shewishagari, Yaradua to Buhari. Can't you see a section of the country? And if you come to the south, you see it from Shonekon, Obasanjo, and Professor Ushibaju down the line. And you now say, Yoruba Lokon. How do you run a country like that? That is what is hating them all. They don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear that at all. This is exactly what some people don't want. They will be shouting on Nigeria, we have to love ourselves. But when it comes to the nitty gritty, the reality, they begin to say another thing. How do you expect this kind of country to move forward? You know, God bless the man. He has done the right thing. If you feel he has not done the right thing, so be it. Let everybody's conscience continue to judge them. That's just it. Thank God, he who have any very supported in the history of Nigeria always lose. But you are dragging and you are fighting for the endorsements. Is that not? You are fighting for the same endorsement because you didn't get it. Now. You are trying to water it down. We know your type. But Pa Ade Banjo endorsed and supported Inubu for governor in Lagos State in 1999. And you know he won. Going by your logical or by your logic that whoever have any fairy support loses. It then means Tinubu will lose because a faction of Afeni Ferry also supported him. So what are you going to say about that? Because you guys are saying Afeni Ferry, eh, the professionality is the leader, not eh, Adi Banjo. So he's going to lose. If you point the one finger to someone, the rest fingers will be pointed at you. That is the law of karma. Afeni Ferry, please keep the flag flying. For now, political gimmicks have been silenced by the appearance of Ade Banjo, the current Afeni Ferry leader with the officials of Pan Yoruba Group. We Yoruba are behind Obidati movement and revolution. We are tired of selfish politicians in Nigeria. Okay? All of you will fail. Atiku is the next president. Okay? Let's us, let's us watch and see. There's no need. Just like Aisha Yusufu used to say, no need to argue with them. Anybody can say anything. No need to argue. You are seeing in Oyo, my people, uh, People have gone ahead. That's on our third option now. Yes, Atiku. Obi is the choice of Nigerians. Apart from Adi Banjo, the Secretary General of the group, Shola Ebiseni, and other members of the Afeni Ferry were also in attendance. This is a very warm handshake across the Niger. These noble statements have, by this action, midwifed the birth of the long expected new Nigeria. God bless them. How many of them are with Adi Banjo and any candidate of any very supported is bound to lose? It is only Adi Banjo, Adi Banjo and Shola Ebiseni. No other member of Adi Ferry follow them because already the re Afeni Ferry has endorsed the most competent and capable ca candidates among all the candidates who coincidentally happen to be one of their illustrious sons in Yoruba land in the person of Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed. Sinumbu. The rebel leader and his co rebel are purely on red on their own and not represent the Yorubas. Whosoever that are jubilating on seeing Adi Banjo and his brother Shola as the Labour Party campaign on the Labour Party campaign ground are just wasting their time. But you've forgotten that uh, the other ones they have not, they didn't even uh, endorse him. The Oanese, the Middle Bet, the Pandev, even the North. They said some of them said they are they are still waiting. They don't want to make such mistake they made in 2015. So, so another group from the north said they didn't endorse Sinumbu because they are even going to court. They are going to take legal action. So what are you talking about? But all those ones say eh, it's just eh, to add coloration to the whole thing. If you want to go by that, mm. did Adebanjo ever mention the best? No, he said it is the turn of the southeast, even if they present a fool. But thank God they did not even present in full. And that is why it's, the whole thing is really... I'm, and that is the reason why everybody is accepting it. It's not because it's from the 
that is a is not because it's from the south is and that is his own way of judging it it's a welcome development who said that igbo can't be one and yoruba can't be one igbo ready to marry a yoruba woman all those are story that will not be proof for anybody table we all have the right and freedom to support whoever we want to vote for no wahala that is it that is it well, was this story written because of Tinumbu or the rally of the Labour Party? The Afeniferi members are divided in various groups. The group presented, present at the Obi rally is that of the Labour Party and not that of the Yoruba group. The group representing Yoruba will come when Tinumbu and APC will be having their rally in one of the states in the southwest. Of course, now, nah, nothing goes for nothing now. Nah. They're not going to come will be because they're not going to get money. That is it. You you and I know that. They are following Tinubu because of what they want to get. Tell me in the Yoruba now, on the all Yoruba that uh, you people are talking about, what are you gaining? What has it done for you Yoruba people? Is it not the same bus bus? Especially the ones in Lagos. Stop deceiving yourselves. You are just deceiving yourself. What you are, you are not going to gain anything. And the evil Tinubu enters, you are not going to gain whether you are from the south. Even now that you are, I don't know, it's, it's your Ashiwaju is the number one in Yoruba land. You have, of course, I know some people will not even agree to that. But according to his name, he's number one in Yoruba land. Tell me what is you people are gaining in Yoruba land now. Because this ground that you guys are see if he gets it until when he gets to the Asso Rock, that is when you are going to gain anything. So guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this. Oh.